the brick stitch, you can see that the beads are slightly offset in a brick pattern. And the rows are also slightly offset with a long row and short row. So here's how to do it. We will begin with a foundation row of ladder stitch. For the full tutorial I will leave a link in the description, but here's a quick reminder. We thread our needle with about an arm span of thread, and we pick up two beads. We slide our beads down to the tail, and we sew back up through the first bead, creating a loop and joining the two beads together. We then sew back down through the second bead. Pick up another bead. We sew back through the last bead, going in the opposite end to which the thread is coming out of, making a loop. Carry on until you've reached your desired length. For demonstration purposes, I've made a foundation row of five. To begin our next row, we pick up two beads. Where our thread is coming out is the top of our work. And we'll be placing our needle under the threads between the beads. This is called the thread bridge. Coming from the back to the front, we sew under the second thread bridge, pulling the two new beads down, and then we sew back up through the second bead in. We then sew down through the first bead in the row, and back up through the second bead, making them sit nicely together. We pick up another bead, we sew under the next thread bridge coming from back to front, and we sew back up through the bead we just added. We pick up another bead. We come under the next thread bridge, sewing from back to front. And we sew back up through the bead we've just added. And our second row is done. We start our next row a little differently. We pick up two beads. And this time we sew under the first thread bridge, again sewing from back to front. We might need to help our bead sit in place, and we sew back up through the second bead in. We sew back down through the first bead, and back up through the second bead. We pick up another bead. We sew under the next thread bridge, coming from back to front. Sew back up through the bead we've just added. Pick up another bead, under the next thread bridge. Up through the bead we've just added. And we need to add one more bead onto the end. We pick up another bead. And we sew back under that last thread bridge. And back up through the bead we just added. Onto our next short row, we pick up two beads. And we sew under the second thread bridge. Again, coming from back to front. And we sew back up through the second bead in. Down through the first bead. And back up through the second bead. Pick up another bead, under the thread bridge, and back up through the bead. Pick up another bead, under the thread bridge, and back up through the bead. Our short row is complete, onto our next long row, pick up two beads. We sew under the first thread bridge, we sew up through the second bead in, we then sew back down through the first bead and back up through the second. We pick up another bead, we sew under the next thread bridge, and back up through the bead we just added. Pick up another bead, under the next thread bridge, and back up through the bead we've just added. And we want to add one more bead onto the end of the row. We pick up a bead, we sew back under that last thread bridge and then sew back up through the last bead. Keep repeating those two rows until you reach your desired length and that's how you do the brick stitch.